previously on Mighty Max. The shattering of my crystal released you, Lava Lord. But your freedom will lead to obliteration. No matter what happens, when the time comes, you must do exactly what I said. You must promise. Virgil? Virgil, where are you? I give you Magus. A partnership. A trick. Don't know. Curse that skull master for attacking me before I can attack him. <laughs> Capella, meet your doom. It took me a long time to grow that hair. Hey, Normie, it took me even longer to grow this head. <laughs> nice backhand, Normie. Learned it on the center court in Camelot. Why is Virgil helping Skullmaster? Virgil's doing it. There's a reason. Well, if you figure it out, don't be shy about letting me know, okay? Way, mighty one. Hurry! Cap bearer, your quest is ending. No! Well, Norman, are you ready? You know I'm ready. So am I! Master, you thief, 5,000 years ago, you stole my kingdom, but now I'm back to take my revenge! Lava Lord, only a mewling coward hides behind machinery. A true warrior would meet me sword to sword. Norman, he's not talking to you. Nuts! This is my battle, little ones. It's my hand that will destroy Skullmaster! Attack! Where have you run to? This muley coward wants you! Skullmaster, this is important. Macus' knee mechanism is his weakest point. Well done, old friend. Warmonger!
<laughs> your strategy is impeccable. It's time. Concentrate your attack on the cap bearer. Now. Virgil, what are you saying? Enjoy your next breath, cap bearer. It will be your last. Norman, get to Magus, quick. Must do something. Uh, Norman, I need you to work the missile system. I hate technology. Good explosion. Woo! Yeah! Somehow I knew you'd find a way, buddy. Now, if I can just get this big lug into first gear, we might still have a chance. No! Megas is mine! is going as I expected. Skullbuster, it is time to put the final stage of our plan into effect. Warmonger, Rockmaster's retreat! Virgil! What's going on? Your mentor is teaching you your final lesson. Always back a winner. Virgil, no, this can't be. Pull yourself together, Normie. We may not know what's going on, but I am the camp bearer, and you are the guardian. It's our job to save the world. And that's exactly what we're going to do! Thanks, buddy. I needed that. Congratulations, Virgil. The cap bearer is doing exactly what you said he would. In fact, it looks as if I have judged you unfairly all these thousands of years. It seems that your deviousness and trickery more than match my own. They most certainly do. But remember, you must spare the boy. Into your positions! Now! Big guy, it's our turn to crash the party. That's Skullmaster's house! You think we should knock? Mmm. No. Remember, Warmonger, I must have the cap. Yes, and the two humans. You may destroy them any way you see fit. At last, everything is going according to plan. Hey, Normie, um, okay, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but if Skullmaster doesn't yell, Happy Birthday, in about five seconds, I'm gonna have to believe Virgil just led us into a trap. Cap Bearer, the time has come to meet your fate. Uh, I guess the surprise birthday party theory is definitely out. <laughs> Just 
cannot believe Virgil would do this to us, Normie. get a weapon that can turn Skullmaster into bone dust? Yeah. I never thought of it like that. Skullmaster was right. After 5,000 years, the moment of destiny has finally arrived. thing is, sometimes even destiny requires a helping hand. Now. Why should I listen to a stinky traitor like you? Forget your question and remember your promise. You agreed to do exactly what I ordered, and my orders are destroy Skullmaster now. You see? I told you Virgil had everything under control. What? You mean all this was, was planned so Skullmaster could take the big fall? Cool! <laughs> well, just let me get old bone face in my sights here, and I'll be happy to oblige. Oh, no! I should snap your foul neck for your treachery, but since I still need you, that pleasure will have to be postponed. <laughs> What are you waiting for, Mighty Max? Shoot and be done with it forever! Your final moment as a hero has come! If you destroy me, Virgil dies as well. Mighty One, what are you going to do? I don't know. Mighty Max, you promise to follow my directions exactly, no matter the consequences. And my directions are to fire your missiles now. to the upper world is just over the falls. The choice is yours. Either kill your friend or take us all through the portal to the upper world. Listen to me, mighty one. It is written that when Skullbuster dies, I must die as well. As cap bearer, you must destroy us both to save the world. Oh, get out of here, Virgil. You know I can't do that. <laughs> You better do something, Mighty One. Yeah! Or we're all doomed anyway. Got him, too. One! You stole Magus, my creation. And now you must 
face the reckoning! Come on, Norman! We're getting out of here! Max, you must fulfill your destiny. It is written! Hey, Virgil! In my book, it's written that you don't save the world by killing your friends, okay? Skullmaster! On my word, I want you and Virgil to jump! One, two, three! My creation, I'll save you! Did I do something wrong? You agreed to follow my instructions to fulfill your destiny. But what you did instead was to take the greatest evil this world has ever known oh, and set it free! Calm down, Virgil. You know what these outbursts do to your blood pressure. Yeah. On the other hand, uh, uh, since destiny is composed of equal parts, uh, chance, free will, and necessity, when you exerted your free will uh, by refusing to take an innocent life, uh, namely my own, rather than altering your destiny, you've actually raised it to a higher plane. Well done! Uh, do you have any idea what he just said? I think he said you're going to be the cap bearer for a very long time. Because of your actions, Skullmaster now has the opportunity to destroy the world. But never fear, the right way is frequently the more difficult way. And after all, you are the mighty one. Mighty one. Oh no! If you don't have a portal to the center of the Earth, the ocean bottom is the best place to start. Because there, the Earth's crust is only four miles thick. But once you get to the next layer, the mantle, you still got 1,800 miles to go until you reach the center of the Earth. Now there, you'll find super hot molten rocks. And take it from me, until you've been there with nothing but a cap, a guardian, and a 10,000-year-old chicken, <laughs> you don't know what hot really means. See ya! <laughs> 